Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus, it's Dana. How's it rolling out there? Let's do uh, let's do a read for Taurus and see what might be coming towards someone out there, yeah? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to the table. We're going to talk about some things. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you so much. I am honored by your presence and your trust. All y'all, subscribe to the channel because it makes me happy, keeps me motivated, and just helps me out all the way around. There's a super thanks button that you can also hit if you uh, feel so compelled to do so. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm thoroughly going to confuse you while I sew together a story, all right? Let's do it. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where that stopping point is. Ooh, right there. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, in the words to explain it. All right, let's see what we get going on here. Boom, chaka pow, wow. Temptation with the devil on the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Followed by the four of wands and the wheel of fortune. That's going to make hella sense in just a little bit. All right, first card out. Well, this is the heart chakra. We're going to put this up top up here and we'll talk about it at the end, okay? First card out is the Seven of Cups. Choose wisely. Alrighty. These are all supposed to be read in the upright, just so you know. So, choose wisely with the Seven of Cups and more water energy with the Eight of Cups. Emotional withdrawal. And then we have victory and success with the Six of Wands. There is the Crown Chakra, which we will talk about a little bit later. And obstacles and challenges with the Five of Wands. Look at that. Water and fire all over the place. The Third Eye Chakra. We will talk about that later. To conflict and defeat with the Five of Swords. Firm Foundation with the Four of Earth. Material harvest, harvest, material harvest with the nine of earth and balance. First major arcana, very interesting. Balance with justice right here. All right, scooch you guys up so you can see the rest of the spread. Let's see, we got four, eight, and we'll do four more on this bottom row down here. All right, what else we got going on? We have heartache and loss with the three of swords hope with the star deception and envy with the seven of swords and harmony with the six of trump okay all right look at that we have that would be 12 13 14 and 15 absolutely fantastic recognition and reward and then transformation with death look at that very nice okay all right we will stop with death let's see what's going on here you guys let's just make some sense out of all this all right so 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 i know i'm driving all you ocd people crazy out there but uh you know what you're just gonna have to learn how to cope so here we go ready let's do it choose wisely with the seven of cups first card out sets the tone for everything and look at that death right on top of it wow okay so choose wisely death uh, ending change transformation emotional withdrawal what's this about choose wisely emotional withdrawal the nine of swords on the ground right there to anxiety and despair so the eight of cups and the nine of swords eight of cups nine of swords and then the seven of wands in reverse on top of that okay 
And then victory and success, overcoming the battle with the Six of Wands to the Sun. Happiness, success, vitality, um, healing the inner child, perhaps. All right, all right, all right. Here's what's going on, Taurus. Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening. So, 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 so. First card out is the Seven of Cups, right? Choose wisely. This is a card about confusion, okay? So this particular Taurus is in a funk, okay? It's in a funk, and you're not really sure what to do, where to go, how to... You're just, maybe you're feeling a need to do something, but you don't know what it is that you're supposed to be doing, okay? This is choose wisely, okay? It's followed by the Eight of Cups, which is about emotional withdrawal. What this tells me, it reiterates the stuck feeling of the Seven of Cups, okay? Because the guy in the Eight of Cups, he is, he's just, he's just coming to terms with the fact that whatever it is that he is, whatever he is investing in emotionally in his life just isn't going to be any better than it already is. And this particular Taurus with that seven of cups right there is thinking about what it is that they're going to do because they've come to some kind of determination that whatever it is that they're doing isn't working for them. And that goes back again to the choose wisely of the seven of cups. Taurus is trying to figure out how to get their how to get their 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 self going forward. Okay, the emotional withdrawal of the eight of cups is clarified by the nine of swords. Right, up at night, anxiety, despair, having to figure something out, having to hustle something, trying to figure out what you're going to do to hustle, Taurus. The seven of wands in reverse comes on top of that. Seven of Wands in reverse talks about avoidance. Avoidance, avoidance, avoidance. The Four of Cups says contemplate and reevaluate what's going on right here. I want to say the Seven of Wands in reverse is also about feeling overwhelmed, okay? And then the Four of Cups. Contemplation, reevaluation. So what this is saying is you don't see, Taurus, you don't see. What you're supposed to be doing right now is just simply accepting. Just accepting. You think you got this locked down, right? In this Four of Cups right here. You're thinking, well, I've tried this and I've done this and I got these irons in this fire and those irons in that fire and I've done everything that I know how to do. I'm not really sure what else it is that I have to do, but nothing seems to be going forward for me right now. The fourth cup being offered to you by the hand of the divine is saying we need you to contemplate and reevaluate how you're going about doing this whole thing right here because death. The universe is working behind the scenes right now for your transformation. They are trying to put together everything that needs to be put together for this particular Taurus to step out of this stagnated, funky area and into victory, progress, and success. Look, it's right here in my hand, the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, Six of Wands. The universe is working out an end to the old and a beginning to the new that brings you to a place of a lot of success, victory over the battle. However, however, they can't do it against your free will. And as we get a little bit further in this reading, we're going to find out what Taurus needs to do in order to execute or usher this into their life. The sun, okay? The path to happiness, success, and vitality is always the healing of that inner child, okay? The universe wants to show you the path to happiness, success, and vitality. Some kind of long-standing cycle in your life is coming to an end. The portal is opening and going to, and enabling you to usher in your future. Everything is happening behind the scenes right now as we speak. 
obstacles and challenges, your obstacles and challenges, the, the choose wisely of the seven of cups, the eight of cups, the nine of swords, all of that, right? Those are your obstacles and challenges. That is what you have had to or are having to overcome in this particular situation or circumstance in your life. There are obstacles and challenges and you do have to overcome them to the Ten of Pentacles. But when you do, it's payday. This is, this is the death card and the Six of Wands right here and the Sun. Okay, the obstacles and challenges that you are having to handle in your life right now, they are either going to be stepping stones or stumbling blocks. The universe wants you to use them as stepping stones so they can deliver to you a great deal of security and success according to your efforts. Okay, what's going on? What's the problem? Well, this Five of Cups, I'm sorry, Five of Swords right here. This is about conflict and defeat. Conflict and defeat. Look, to the High Priestess in reverse. This conflict and defeat that this particular Taurus is feeling is directly related to the unhealed child that the universe says with two, three major arcanas here needs to be addressed inside of yourself because that is what is blocking this awesomeness from coming into your life because remember they can't do it against your free will and if your internal self narrative is consistently manifesting your free will into your life and it's not in line with universal order and the awesomeness of the journey that you came here to live then you are manifesting something that is not in your best and highest good. The high priestess is about unhealed energy, okay? It's about ignoring your intuition, being out of touch with your soul. To the eight of swords, eight of swords is about paralyzed in your mind, all tied up in a thought process that is perpetuating the conflict and defeat because what you think about comes about your internal self-narrative becomes your reality. And we don't need to be having, whoever this is right here, a, an internal self-narrative of a lack mentality, of defeat, of fear. Because Source is never going to whisper fear in your ears. You know who whispers fear in your ears? The old devil on the bottom of the deck right here. That's who whispers fear in your ear. To the Seven of Swords. This Seven of Swords right here is about someone that is defeating themselves. What it's saying is that there is no other way. There is no other way except to address what is holding you back in your life, Taurus. And what's holding you back in your life is fear with that Eight of Swords. Lack mentality and fear. We have the five of wands right here, right? This is conflict, obstacles, challenges. The, the mindset of this Taurus, you are sabotaging yourself with that seven of swords right there. Sabotaging yourself, okay? All right. The firm foundation with the four of pentacles is about pulling it together, pulling it together. To the material harvest of the nine of pentacles independent self-sufficient believing in your success believing in your ability to be successful and stop listening to that wounded child with that poverty consciousness that keeps telling you that you can't because you can the nine of pentacles is about entrepreneurship it's definitely just one step behind that ten of pentacles right there but to get through the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles you have to pull it together with the four of pentacles pentacles earth energy is about your sense of well-being okay pull together your sense of well-being and know that you know that you know that things are working in the background to bring you exactly what it is that you've been working towards the Queen of Pentacles, secure, secure in herself, secure in her financial situation, secure in her sense of well-being, successful and secure to the Eight of Wands. This is the change that needs to happen. 
right? The change that needs to happen is Taurus needs to get out of their head, doubting universal order, and step into their power of the nine of pentacles, owning yourself, owning your worth, believing in yourself, so you can ride into this whole brand new, extremely successful transformation of your life. The eight of wands is movement, action, and change. Look, movement, action, and change to justice. It's in your best and highest good. It is justice for a job well done. But this particular Taurus is at the end of their rope and they are really truly doubting universal order right now. Fool in reverse says this is a foolish move. Foolishness, foolish move, a fool among you, which would be you, okay? foolishness all right the fool is about brand new beginning brand new journey but guess what the fool doesn't have an itinerary he doesn't know the who what when where why and how of universal order all he knows is he trusts the process so much that he closes his eyes he feels his soul and he goes in that direction knowing that his ancient ancient higher self is his intuition deep inside of himself knowing that his very existence is linear never ending the same soul before is going to be the same soul after it's the same soul that is right now and it's always trying to lead you and guide you and point you in the direction of your very best and highest good but you don't always know when where who what why and how you have to trust in universal order. And it is working in the background for you right now. But you are foolishly, foolishly, foolishly manifesting in that Eight of Swords energy. Doubt, confusion, anxiety, despair. You have the power to flip this fool in the upright to the chariot. Put in the self-control. What's the self-control? Control your flesh. Control your humanness. Stop feeding the machine with fear and anxiety. Self-control, willpower. Willpower to do what? Willpower to hang on and keep pushing, knowing that you know that you know that if you are listening to your higher self, you will be led in the direction of your best and highest good. Self-control, willpower, and determination. Determination to do what? Determination to believe in yourself, to believe that you can have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and happiness, success, and vitality in your life. Believe that you can overcome this inner child thing that has you going in a loop about your sense of well-being. Balance it. Balance it out justice it's in your best interest to be accountable for all of this because with this death card the, the the reading begins with death and ends with death down here there is a massive transformation about to take root in your life wanting to take root as a matter of fact this chariot's in the background just like a bunch of horses chomping at the bit at the rodeo right or at, or at, or at the endurance race I, I ride endurance myself okay chomping at the bit right let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go but this fool in reverse is holding it back mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. justice is clarified by the five of wands in reverse this is an increased focus on goals and the avoidance of responsibility. Stop avoiding the responsibility of tying up some of the loose ends that are whispering in your ear that you can't do this. Your mom's voice, your dad's voice, your ex's voice, whoever's voice that is, it's not yours because why would you be telling yourself you couldn't do this? It is some kind of lingering wound that is bleeding over onto the success of your life. Three of Swords, the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you carry in in your mind, Taurus. Hermit in reverse keeps you, keeps you out of alignment with universal order. The Hermit is about deep soul searching and introspection. And in the reverse, it's about withdrawal from that, focused on grief and sorrow and pain and 
I grew up poor or I have to prove myself and if I don't make X amount of dollars in X amount of time, everybody's going to think I'm a failure or I, I, I don't even understand what it means to be successful at all in my life. Go back, dig up that childhood wounding and give it back to whomever gave it to you. Seven of swords because it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's not yours at all not at all to hope this is the star your path your purpose there is hope in life there is hope source is trying their very best to rain down on you a beautiful peaceful comfortable life but they can't give it to you, Taurus, if you won't take it because you think you can't do it or you think you don't deserve it or somehow, some way, somebody has convinced you that you can't do it. There is hope, Taurus. Six of Pentacles. The giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life to the Seven of Pentacles just needs for you to take a step back and assess and reflect on how you're going about doing things. Harmony. This is the lover's card. This is a several things here. This could be a love relationship for some, a transformative love relationship. For some, this harmony is about a business relationship, a job offer, entrepreneurial endeavors with the nine of, of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. On the root, root, root level, this harmony card is about universal frequency. If I sprinkled fragmented magnet pieces all over this table, and then I took a big magnet, right? Took a big magnet and I put it down like that. The particles that are facing the magnet right Oof, are going to be drawn to it the particles that are not facing the magnet are going to be pushed away from it and probably bounce off the table that's how universal order works it passes by and if you are aligned with it it happens in your life and if you're not aligned with it it just keeps going it's important to understand that the vibe of a lack mentality or worrying or doubting universal order, that is low vibing, low frequency, and the universe just swipes right by it. They can't find you. So they need you to fine tune your ability to sync with universal order. Prince of Wands, inspired action, communication. This is excitement. If it's a love relationship, a work relationship, some kind of success in your life, here's your communication about it. But it only comes in, mind you, when you are in the harmony of universal order. Harmony in reverse. You got to reevaluate your core belief system, Taurus. Reevaluate your core root belief system. Who are you? Why are you? Why did you become what you have become? Who are you becoming? What do you believe about yourself, about your life, about commitments, obligations, marriages? What do you believe about family, about your family lineage, about who you are, where you're going, and what you want to believe? Because what the universe is about to rain down on you cannot stand on the foundation that your core belief system is built upon. There needs to be a reevaluation of you, Taurus, to the chariot. Again, second time, put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what it is that you got to do, Taurus. The universe is chomping at the bit to take you to the next leg of your journey. But look at you, all five of pentacles all over the place, right? Financial and material changes. I don't have enough. It's not enough. My bills are due. How am I going to? How am I going to? How am I going to? Fretting all over the place. 
worried that God doesn't have your back. Remember I told you a while back, who's going to whisper that in your ear? It's not source. Source is not going to whisper fear into your ear. Who whispers fear into your ear? The devil. The other side of all of the rainbows and unicorns in a spiritual journey is an opposing force. And they do not want to see you find your soul. They do not want you to trust in a higher power. They need you plugged into the machine, feeding it with doubt and overwhelming anxiety and emotional distress. They need you detached from a higher power, focusing on the heartache and the loss and the grief, trying to outsmart the universe, tied up in your head, broken and unhealed, and absolutely succumb by conflict and defeat. That's what they need you to do telling you in the reverse that you need to release your limiting beliefs release your limiting beliefs to the six of wands in reverse that is the battle that you have to overcome to step into the six of wands that the universe is promising you the sun the 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 the, the, the and death yes that's the battle that you have to overcome. Release your limiting beliefs, Taurus. The bottom of the deck, the Empress, it all starts here. The Empress is the dirt of life. Nothing grows in your spiritual world without understanding the Empress. Mm -hmm. She's made from lesson one and lesson two. Listen, one and two equals three. One, two and three equals four. One, two, three and four equals five. One, two, three, four, five equals six, and so forth and so on. This is the most important start to everything. You have to understand that your internal narrative creates your reality. What you think about comes about. The Empress is very careful what she allows herself to believe. Lesson two is the high priestess. That is your ancient eternal soul trying to lead you and guide you and show you every step of the way and point you towards your true north. And the empress understands this. She follows her intuition without question, without arguing. She points her mind towards what her intuition is telling her she needs to achieve in her life. And she does it. That's why she's the dirt of life and the fertility of the tarot. Nothing grows without those two fundamental understandings inside of you. Boom. Once you wrap your mind around this, remember who you are in this journey, in this soul journey that you're having in this human experience. You are so much more than just a placeholder in this crazy thing called life. You are important, your life has meaning, and you have purpose. Soon as you understand that, Taurus, boom, accelerated motion, pow, 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 second time. The Eight of Wands has been here. Boom, 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 pow, pow, pow. There you go. It just blasts you off into this outrageously delicious success. Recognition and reward. The universe will see you. They're waiting for you. All you have to do is pull that gate so those ponies can run. Mm -hmm. Recognition and reward with the three of pentacles. And boom. It all ends in massive, massive transformation. Massive transformation. It started with 13 and it ends with 13. Death in the beginning and death at the end. A massive, gigantic, huge transformation of your whole existence. And it comes from you controlling your mind. It's your destiny, Taurus. Bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. It's your destiny. This is the divinely orchestrated path of your life but you are gumming up the machine with a mindset that won't let it flow. Foundations and achievements with the Four of Wands. This is what the universe is going to rain down upon you. Success, 
comfort, stability, and a whole lot of well-being. But guess who doesn't want you to have it? The devil. 15, Trump 15, temptation in this deck. That's your flesh. It's your ego. It's, 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 it's the part of you that makes the fool be in reverse. It's the foolish part of you, believing things that keep you suppressed and oppressed. Don't let anybody tell you you can't, because you can. Source wants you to be successful. They want you to be happy, because there is no better tool for your soul's journey than a happy human being. You can have everything that you want, Taurus, but you have to control your thought life. Point your thought life towards your intuition and make it happen. I sure hope that helps someone. Stand by for a minute. I'll tell you all about my book. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.